to reflect on what has happened that was perilously close to that off stump after this spun one I thought I heard through the effects myself hold it I thought it actually hit the stumps close call I, I thought it actually bowled him sure it just clipped out I just threw the effects Mike slow one whacked away very quickly for four first boundary in 41 balls but what the way Chandimal is on a roll here 40 from 33 balls Unable to get it through, direct hit. It doesn't seem too concerned, Angelo Matthews. But nevertheless, we've gone upstairs. I don't think uh, the upstairs is required. I think it's, it's short. That's what I, I feel. Don't look at me, Russell, like that. But I have a feeling. Have a look at that. Out. It's good enough. You've got to just make sure that the wicketkeeper hasn't really dislodged the bells before it hits the stumps that's why we make sure yeah, it's out I think uh, no problem there for the third umpires upstairs shouldn't be a problem yeah that's a big blow because Angelo Matthews he's the one who could have turned it on there we have it he was getting ready to bat again but direct hits, they always find you short more often than not. Well, the skipper's done it. He's got a vital breakthrough. Plenty to shout about for the Pakistanis now. Well, it has been the case with the Sri Lankans. They kept losing the wickets at the wrong time. Angela Matthews gone for 14. He's 1-1-9-4. Useful edge. Chamra Silva will come back for the third, but Tanvir, he gives up the chase. Slow one, but outside the line, Chamra Silva. But that was an opportunity to put that away. Azaz Chima's that slow delivery he comes in and bowls with a similar action, but gives a bit of loop. Look at that. He has no idea how to, how to control that. Lovely delivery. He's been the problem. They've not picked him at all. That's Shandi Mal's 15. 50 number one for him. Shandi Mal played really well today. He looked a uh, little out of sword when it, when they were playing with the ODIs, but uh, looked very good from the word goal. Based uh, on a 40 delivery for his 50. Plays a sweep. It's in the air. Fielder in the deep, just bailing out. Umar Gul, the man. A good result for Pakistan. Just the one run. Run, boys, come on, yeah, come on. Pakistan have really done well in the last six, seven hours. They pulled the game back to where they, they were at the moment. On the track. Just the one run again. Now what these two batsmen are doing is they're looking for boundaries. Ideally, what they should be doing is looking for the gaps. Just hitting it away from the fielders, running hard. You pick up your twos, the pressure will be on the bowlers. Get your overs of seven and eight. In the big swing, could be a run out. At the bowlers end, Chamra Silva. His innings was going nowhere. Just when Sri Lanka needed to take off, Pakistan as they've done time and time again pulling things back and more importantly they slow it down by picking up wickets this time in the form of another run out with this time looking up Chamara Silva left in no man's land not the direction the Sri Lankans want that worm to head gets it through he'll get four why does the off stump uses that strong bottom hand start of the over as a bowler you hate to get hit for four on the first ball tempted Yorker there look good shot good control shot pick the gap nicely the front leg out of the way getting a good base so he can use those hands top stuff young man 
Sri Lanka trying hard to get past 150 now. Very important they hit that goal. Loud appeal. And he's given him out this time. It's good bowling from Chima. He was put away for a boundary trying to bowl that Yorker. But that's the right thing to do at that stage. He followed it up with this one. It's an edge. Well taken by Umarakma. So it gets worse and worse for Sri Lanka. An inning that innings that promised so much. A tough times. He needs to get Sri Lanka a few runs. That's a wicket. Well executed by Dilwan Pereira, missing out with the fine leg in the circle. Those are boundary balls. Gets it only to miss back. It's underneath that. Gets worse and worse. Dilharo Fernando at one stage, we thought we're not going to see him with the bat. He's there because Dilwan Pereira could just help it, help the ball to the Pakistani skipper. And make that 10 all gone. Sri Lanka losing their way. It looks so rosy at 51 at 91 for three at the end of 10 overs. And we were talking of scores of 181-70. Sri Lanka failed to get up to 150. But top stuff from the men in green. Another comeback. That's the 10th wicket gone down. Pakistan outstanding once again in this series. They've done well in the one days, the 1-1, one, 4-1, one, one, and now the one and the only one to smack uh, or 2020 Fernando gone without scoring. It's 141 all out. Trinity, there's no chance of a comeback against these boys. Had a quiet day of ready today. On the toss, Sri Lanka, brisk start. Even though Taranga got 12, they were off to a flyer. Dilshan, Chandimal, he batted really well. But from then on, it's just been a procession of wickets. Well, the spinners make such a big difference in Pakistan's side that uh, the fast bowlers are bound to pick up wickets. In the middle, Ajmal, Afridi, they bowled so well that the fast bowlers came in and they keep taking wickets. Chima was outstanding today. He bowled four overs, picked up four wickets, and he, Omar Gul bowled, uh, did bowl that well early on. I thought he bowled a couple of wide balls, but then he came back and picked up two wickets. Outstanding. 